Hello, beautiful souls. But if you would like to explore more about joining our Patreon Soul Tribe and listening to the extended version of this reading today, if you are feeling guided to it, I will be leaving a link to that in the pinned comment and the description box that is under this video. So let's go ahead and channel from the cards. You who show the way, isn't that so fitting? That really brings us full circle to the beginning of the reading. We also have the card 1. This is a very strong divine counterpart, potentially twin flame card. And this also could be someone who is in a king of wands reversed energy as well. So, they may have been dishonest in the past, or spiritually speaking, you may have this cosmic intelligence, this sense that you cannot fully openly trust this person, even though I feel you have a lot of care for them. You seem to have this cosmic sense that they are struggling with their own demons, so to speak, their own shadows, and that possibly you cannot fully trust them completely. I almost feel like you may have to filter some of what you say around them, or it's almost like you can't be entirely open with this person. This is speaking to one of those dynamics, by the way, where it feels like you have to keep your heart chakra closed a little bit in order to connect with them more physically. Like when you're around this person, you might start to feel your heart close off a little bit. This isn't you or something that you're doing. This is an effect that they seem to be having on you. They make you naturally feel very self-protective, possibly even defensive when you're around them. And with the Ten of Swords reversed, I am again getting that sense of it's almost like abandoning, running away. You may have needed to just drop this situation, or let go of this person for the time being, or this might be something that you're contemplating doing. I feel like there's a level of guilt wrapped up here on your end for some reason when it comes to this particular person, regardless of the connection or relationship that you have with them. I do want to channel a bit more on that. So, what is that feeling of guilt coming up here? Okay, release the guilt and step into your power with Goddess of the Moon Upright. This does feel like a hyper-specific reading, but for whoever this is for, you are being called to look at the bigger picture of you. You as this all-encompassing, goddess-esque, powerful manifesting being that you are. I almost feel like being around this person might make you forget certain aspects of who you are. You might feel disempowered in their presence, and I see you being called up to your power here. Yeah, we also have door to spirit upright. So again, this sense of spiritual awakening, keeping your eyes set on this grander vision of your life. It's almost as though perhaps pushing against this situation hasn't been working, or it's been very triggering on both sides. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love. But I feel your guide saying instead of pushing against or trying to fight against anything here, allow yourself to simply expand and evolve out of it. So, in a sense, whoa, right as I said that we had the yin-yang card, which is my number one twin flame card in the deck. This may even be a very complex twin flame dynamic. This person could be a twin flame catalyst, meaning a twin flame specifically sent into your life to rattle you awake spiritually, to create a lot of upheaval and ego death, massive amounts of change. Well, it's very likely that as you go on that healing journey of emotional self-reconnection and learn to reconnect with your own emotions, you will actually be able to better relate to and empathize with others' feelings to a degree that someone who never underwent those experiences would never be able to do. If you felt as though you were denied having a voice when you were younger, it's very likely you are someone who was actually meant to have an incredibly powerful voice. And through that process of remembering, there is immense evolution taking place at a soul level that actually really pushes you into that specific purpose. It's almost confusing connecting with this person because every time you feel yourself really wanting to go all in here, wanting to throw your heart into this person, I believe this triggers that fear of not being good enough for you that is already within them and causes them again to act in certain ways that confuse your intuition or cause you some kind of emotional pain. I keep getting that this may have to do with pursuing third parties. This may be trying to seek validation from other, more shallow feminine energies. And when I use the words shallow and deep, 
I don't mean them in any kind of a cross-comparative derogatory sense. I simply mean that when it comes to the connection that the two of you share, there is so much depth that any other connection to this masculine is perceived by him as being shallow. So I hope that that's a clarifier for someone here. But I want to know more about what this masculine is thinking or feeling at this time. Why does this masculine pull away? I heard immediately. I pull away because I'm scared. What are they scared of? What is this masculine afraid of? The world. Showing my true self to the world. It's almost like this particular masculine is afraid of getting exactly the fulfillment on all levels that they desire, which I know sounds really strange, but it's actually a very common fear amongst those who aren't yet fully awake spiritually and fully to a place where they've integrated their shadow aspects enough, their unconscious aspects enough, that they are able to align with very high states of soul fulfillment. This masculine is afraid of that kind of fulfillment because there is a worthiness wound here that's coming up in the sacral chakra once again. That vulnerability, that self-doubt. And here we have the seven of pentacles upright and the two of pentacles reversed. From divine muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. 